Hi everyone, I'm Zahra from Moodle for Teachers EV019. Uh, we are in week two and as you know, we have received the right to go to teacher practice area. In teacher practice area, there are a lot of topics. You can occupy a topic and make some changes in them. You can add some activities and resources. In fact, uh, we want to um, see how we can uh, design a lesson by adding some activities and resources. In this video tutorial, I want to show you how we can add some resources to it. The first thing to do is uh, choosing a topic I have already selected. In order to make any change, I should turn the editing on. Let's Okay, now, now, now it's turned on. I am in my topic. As you see, I have added my name. But let's see how I have added it. It's in fact a label, which is one of the resources, one of the very useful resources we can use for identifying our name, the name of the lesson, to separate different activities and resources, and whatever you need. I should press on this part, add an activity or resource. There are a lot of activities here, but now let's go to resources. Resources include an annotatable file, book, file, folder, label, lightbox gallery to save pictures, page, poster, URL. <coughs> okay, I want to add a label. I click on it. You may want to read the description or get more help. Or if you are okay with it, just add, just click on the button add. Well, adding a new label to topic six. Well, I have already added um, this title. Let's do it again together. I want to provide a lesson on presentation, let's make some changes, presentation skills. Yes. Okay, now, as you see, I have made some changes in the colors. Now, Let's see how we can make more changes. Let's change the background, change the font. The, sorry, this part is background and the previous one was font color. I want to make changes in the size and make it large because this is the name of the uh, lesson. Then let's center it. You may want to add some emojis, emoticons. Okay, save and return to course. Let's see how it appears. The name of a lesson that we want to provide. Okay, presentation skill. I don't like the color. I can make changes by going to this part, edit setting. And also, I can delete it, or hide it, or move it. But we can do it later. Now, let's add some more resources to this presentation skill lesson. If I want to add a video about presentation skill, I go to URL. I, I can also uh, go to file and add the file here, but maybe the file size is not. It is uh, maybe the file is very large, and um, puts pressure on the website. So I add the URL. I usually add URL in activities like forums and chats, but let's try it this time. Okay, imagine there is one activity here, a, a, a video on presentation skills. Presentation skills training. I should first of all add a name. 
it should be complete or part of it then let's go to URL and copy the URL if you've got some URL available you can come here and choose one I'm not sure how it appears um, we may add some description here by clicking on this part you can make a display uh, on the course page you can set some changes in the description but at the moment I just I'm curious to see how it appears, so I press save and return to course. Okay, presentation skills training. Let's see how we can access it by clicking. Oops. Perhaps we should add it in a um, in one of the activities that I mentioned next time I will do it okay now let's see oh yeah it opens now it took time but it opens good so by uh, clicking on the link we can access it but it doesn't appear the player is not here you cannot see it let's see how we can use again this URL for adding one web page. Let's see how we can add a web page. Which one? Of course, this one is not a web page, it's just a page, and I should add the content. As you see, there is no URL here. I should add the content right here, so it's not what I want. I would prefer to add this to the URL or add the file of it. Okay, let's go to another URL. Next time I can add them to a forum so that the video opens in front of us. Now I want this content, the presentation with impact, to be added to the lesson. Again, now let's go to URL. You should add the URL here. Uh, or we should choose a link if available. You can add description. Um, you can restrict access and say um, that first of all the students should what uh, should watch the video then after they are complete they are done with the video then they can come to this page but at the moment i'm not gonna set these restrictions on resources later we can do it on activities okay again another one well, uh, these are just resources and the contents. We can add books. We can add pages, annotatable files, and other resources. Okay, let's see how this one works. Presentation skills. With the books, uh, we can uh, go to different options and add some chapters. Let's first of all save it. The book presentation skills. Okay, here we've got chapter title, chapter one, subchapters. You can also add subchapters, but it's only available once the first chapter has been created. 
chapter one and what about next chapters add a new chapter oops okay let's do it with one chapter then we can come back to add other chapters they should be added one by one I think Chapter 1 is here, you can return to the topic from this part, we can add some other chapters. Okay, these are the resources, some of the resources that you can add to the lesson. We can then later add some other activities to work with, to, to see how students can work with these resources. I think it's enough resources for this uh, video tutorial. I hope you have found it useful. Have a nice time. Goodbye.